Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are just getting started. The girls are just finishing up homeschool. I've just been cleaning the house, doing laundry, and every morning after I fold laundry. Macy always shows up. <laughs> so is Daisy. They're both cold. So every morning after I'm done folding laundry, they always come and try and get a blanket or a towel or something to help them warm up. <laughs> and poor little Macy is sharing with the Daisy. You guys know that Macy is really old. She's 14 this year. <laughs> and she's doing super well. And she's pretty old. So one of the things that we do to keep her feeling good and strong and healthy is feed her pumpkin. <laughs> she's like, I don't like pumpkin. Do you like pumpkin? I try giving them pumpkin and they don't like it. But pumpkin is so healthy for them. They, they eat it like one day they'll eat it and then another day they won't. But I also give her scrambled eggs because it really helps the protein. It really helps to keep her strength up and keep her healthy. Being old sucks. So we try and give her stuff to help keep her going strong and steady. Right, Macy girl? So you guys see that Sophie's wearing her cowgirl up with green hoodie today and we announced the winner for that yesterday and there's one other thing I wanted to share with you guys this holiday season. You guys know that the countdown to Christmas is upon us like very soon you guys we'll be counting down seven, six, five, four, three, two, one till Christmas Eve and I wanted to give you guys an opportunity if you have small children at home to talk to Santa before then. I use this app on my phone called Santa Claus to talk to Santa. So I use this app. I'm able to talk to Santa and he's able to send messages and videos to our kids. So I can use this app to let our kids know if they've been naughty or nice, if they're on the good list or on the bad list. And those are all important right now at this time of year because the kids still have time to turn that naughty into nice. It's like a portable North Pole where your kids can talk to Santa and Santa can talk back to you. And it's something that we did with our kids every year when they were little and it created lasting memories and made the joy last from year to year. Apps like this make such a difference for kids at Christmas time and I just wanted to tell you guys about it in case you're interested or in case you needed a place that you could access to contact Santa. You can create fun family moments in just a few easy steps. You enter a little bit of information and your child can get a video straight from Santa. There are so many options to choose from but definitely a worthwhile thing to share with your family. So if you guys want to check it out I'll put the link in the description box below but I will definitely be getting Santa to, to send videos to my grandkids this holiday season. So if you're interested just click the link below. And I don't know how it happened but Miss Trixie just showed up on my chest. She's doing a shed right now. Her face has been shedding the last few days. Sophie just gave her a bath. and She's here for a visit. <laughs> You're here for a visit, Trix? Hello. I know some people are not into bearded dragons, but and I never was that kind of person before, but honestly, they're so sweet and gentle always. Like, they are just not mean at all. She's never tried to hurt us, ever tried to bite us, nothing like that at all. She's just a happy little girl. Even Trixie likes a video from Santa, you guys. Even Trixie likes to see videos from the North Pole. Huh, Trix? The horses are all outside, and I look over, and Honey's over there. Like, I love seeing her outside with the horses, because she stays in the barn a lot. And she looked over, and she had a big piece of hay sticking out of her mouth. She reminds me of Gracie in some ways. There she is again, just looking. Unfortunately, our poop wheelbarrow broke. Our water is starting to freeze. Okay, so we came down here to do a video. We're gonna do a video. Gabby wants to do it. She wants to. Hi, oh, Pen. Penny's staring at me. Here, let me answer. She wants to do a video Maybe. to put blankets on our horse's blindfold. And I just don't know how it's gonna go. What's she doing? She's staring at you. Call her. See if she'll come to you. Keep calling her. Come on, come on, You guys. All her herd is outside and she just comes running all by herself. Well, her mom comes. <laughs> her mom is being very protective. But how cute is that? Hi, Pam. Hello, sweetie. 
sweet princess, you want to come to me? Look, somebody's clean. Somebody's clean. That's how you know the ground is frozen. They both turn at the same time. All right, let's go get your boy. Okay, Gabby, she wants to show you her running. Aw, perfect. She's so cute. All right, come on, go get your horse and let's try this. All right, this is going to be easy. It says Gabby. All right, we're going to do it, you guys. I have this. Scarf here, we're gonna use as a blind. No, it's a scarf. It's a scarf. It's a it's it's a straight scarf. Let's see if I can see through it. Can you move? I can see through it. <laughs> so we're gonna have to try something. I have to double it up. We're using our heated buckets now. Makes me nervous to use heated buckets. Honey, it rolled over because she was itchy and she rolled into the wall. Luckily, I was tired. She's just like, can I have some help, please? <laughs> yeah. She was so calm. She's, I know. She's, she was like, well, that didn't work out last she time. She has the best disposition, I think. Chino and Penny have the best disposition of all of I our horses. Chino, it, if it was Chino or Penny or Gracie, it would have been harder to flip her back over. Uh, I know. She's little. But honey, I can just like push it over. Yeah. You don't think... You don't think... Not Penny. No, Chino and Honey have the no, best. You this said is Penny. I said Honey. Said Penny. What? Rewind the clip, you guys. Rewind it. Who's right? I'll do it tonight. Chino and Penny have the best. You said Chino and Honey. I said Chino you said and Honey. Chino and Penny. But every time somebody says Penny or Honey, I never can tell of who they're saying. Anyway, Chino and Honey have the same disposition. You're gonna be really frustrated if you kiss your horse. So, we are actually. <laughs> Um, getting ready to go to lessons. I'm going to tell you guys about lessons, but first we're going to do this because this is exciting. He's going to try to bite my face again like before. Yeah, he, he's a weirdo about kissing. He hugs. He doesn't like kissing. Yeah, if you kiss him, he tries to kiss back, but he gets really into it. <laughs> and sometimes it's scary. You're tall. Yeah, I like that he puts his head down for you though. Okay, so let's, let's pick up the blanket and move it around a little. So you can't can all see. <laughs> Don't look. Um, okay, the less blindfold you. You have to double it. Yeah, do you guys know that Sophie, when she got that concussion, she literally is still not we well. Went, like up, Sophia. She can't put anything tight around her head. She can't, sometimes going in the car, sometimes going in stores, like well, so much. my life. I wake up, look outside, nope. <laughs> well, that's everybody. The snow is so bright. Oh, yeah. You know, you're fluffy. I know. I love the light and the sun from, and the, like, I love the sun and the light, but winter bright is so bright. You know, I can't see. see. Okay, want me to tie it around you? No. So, we're going to watch Gabby Blanket Chino. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Well, we're going to do Gabby first and see how it goes. So, I want to tell you guys about the barn. We're taking so Chino. Last time we went there, the footing was kind of crazy. <laughs> Where's my dinner? Wait, should I do it like that so it looks more? Sad? And we noticed it was a bit tricky for him because there were some dips. Here, but since la, last time we were there, which was a couple hey, weeks ago, they've the uh, redid the whole footing inside the barn, so he should be okay today. And he also had his feet done, and he also had chiropractic, and he also had something else I forget, but. Um, you laser so him. he should be, yeah, and, yeah, and I laser him all exactly the time. That's what you were talking about. But, so he should be a lot better, and the footing's better, so we should get a better idea of how well he's doing. You guys know, we took off his shoes a, like a month ago, or I don't even know how long ago now. And we're, and he's a sensitive horse, so like, even getting his feet done make him sensitive. Like, and our farrier's really good about not taking off too much. <laughs> yeah, he looks like she's in the shower. <laughs> She's always in the shower. It's working. It's working. She's 
She's always in the back. So we're going a little bit early. You should let me tie it. And we're gonna see how he does. And if he doesn't do well, then we're gonna um, follow up with our vet again and see. Cause after like over a month, his feet should be okay. Here's the blanket. Hang on, it's falling too. So yeah, this is not it. It's Lost stuffy. Give it to us. <laughs> okay, get the blanket, Gabby. Actually, let's move all this stuff. Sam leaves it all here, and I always oh put God, it away. Because, uh oh. Sophie, grab that broom before she gets caught. This is where they're supposed to go. <laughs> Chino's like, what is happening? <laughs> Chino, where'd you go? <laughs> okay, okay, I know where I am. She was just like saved me from her. It's a good thing he has a clean blanket. You wouldn't want to do that with pennies. baby blanket, her floor. You want to try it with honey? Well. All right. No, yeah. I think I'm doing great. I think you're doing great too. Gabby, he's about to kick you. No, he's not. He doesn't kick with his leg. You know, he was, that was the leg that he was trying to kick you with. Yeah. All right, you guys, comment below. Do you think Gabby's like nailing this or do you think Gabby's messing up big time? No, I'm doing great. Can you see? Why are you looking down? My eyes are closed. I have it. So all done? Yeah. How do you think you did? I did great. <laughs> all right, let's go look at all the straps. Oh, well, that one's twisted, but. <laughs> she did it, you guys. One of the straps is twisted, but. You did it. She did it. All right, and that no, was. I closed my eyes like this. One. We should have timed it. So the thing about Chino is that he's very careful. So if the footing is not. Perfect. He tries to be careful. I'm really sad that our wheelbarrow broke. Sam bought some parts to try and fix it. Today, because it's been so good to us for three years. I love this wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah, we can make a go kart out of it. Hey, Gabby! I love it though. I like that green one. It's my favorite. What do you think, handsome? You want to go and see if you can ride? Our friends aren't coming this week. I almost got hit in the head. She don't hit you in the head every chase he gets. And it's I a... hit myself in the head. Watch your feet. I accidentally hit myself in the head. A lot. And Sophie's not riding. Why are you not riding? She's gonna have a lesson someplace else. Yeah! Day. I want your Santa replied to me. So this winter is going to be about <laughs> Sophie building confidence. So like I said, this winter is gonna be about Sophie building confidence and she wants to try something new. You guys know she's been saying like she wants to try Western and I want her to build confidence on the trail which leads me to like we have winter trail rides planned soon soon winter trail rides i can't even believe it i'm excited about it so i definitely need to get my horse in the trailer because she is the trail riding queen and i think if sophie rides her on the trail it'll give her a lot of confidence but she's also going to be having trail ride lessons and then she's going to start at a western barn in the spring don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way